Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, 10.15 has been released. It's rolling out right now. It's live, so keep an eye on your LaunchBox setup for the update. Just like all releases of LaunchBox and Big Box, we have some new fixes, improvements, and new features. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the more notable stuff. But like always, I'll leave a link to the changelog in the description in case you want to read over it. With this one, we're just going to start with some of the new fixes. First up, with older releases, the LaunchBox Games detail sidebar wasn't properly hiding the retro score when it was disabled in the options menu. Now when it's disabled, it will properly hide that retro score so you'll no longer see it. Another one that's been fixed is background music not shuffling properly in certain situations. Now when you have your background music set to shuffle, it will work in all situations just like it's supposed to. Another one that's been fixed with this release, which was kind of rare, was Microsoft's direct input library fails to load up properly when starting immediately on Windows Startup. Now this didn't happen with everybody, and I actually didn't run into the issue, but we've implemented a workaround and hopefully this prevents crashes. Like I said, it's really rare, so it's kind of hard to test, but hopefully this gets that fixed. And before we move on to the new features, we'll just go over some of the new improvements here. I did want to mention that the LaunchBox Big Box custom theme documentation has been updated. So if you're looking into building new Big Box custom themes, you can check out the new documentation at launchboxthemesdocumentation.pdf. 7-Zip has now been updated. We were running an older version of 7-Zip with LaunchBox. It's now updated to 19.00, and this definitely provides a significant improvement when extracting files or creating archives, especially on a 64-bit machine. So we're now fully updated with the latest 7-Zip here. And one more here before we move on to the new features. The default image priority settings have been streamlined, so you might actually want to go into your settings, and I'll show you how to do that in a second just to make sure you don't have any unwanted or unnecessary image type selected. And we can do that directly from within LaunchBox. We're going to head up to Tools, Options, Legacy, Images. And from here, we can move down the list. So this is my box front priorities. Everything's looking pretty good over here. Just make sure you don't have any unwanted or unnecessary things checked. So with our front box, we don't want any arcade circuit boards, cabinets, or anything like that. But what we have listed right here looks pretty good and now it's time for the new features first up the game audit process has now been overhauled with missing fields and the ability to audit all games in your collection at once instead of just a single system or a single platform so in the past when we wanted to do an audit let's say n64 i'd use the drop down here tools and it would only have the audit for whatever system i'm on now we can audit all games. Now, if I go into here, it is going to take a while to populate because I have a lot of games here. So if you have a ton of games, be patient with it. But this is an awesome new feature so we can just go ahead and get the audit out of the way for all the games we have installed. The next two we have here is an import process for your Uplay games and an import process for your Origin games. Tools, Import, Origin Games, Tools, Import, Uplay Games. Now with Uplay, you don't have to do any signing in. As long as you have it installed on your PC, it will scrape the games you have. So I'll go to Tools, Import, Uplay, and I'll just walk through the process here. I do want to import them as Windows games. I want my box art, everything like that. So we can check all. I don't have all of these games installed, but this is what I have with Uplay right now on the PC. I can check none, check the ones that are only installed, and check the ones that are not installed. I'm just going to go with check the installed versions, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Far Cry 5. Finish. It's going to go ahead and download the metadata, box art, and posters for us. And it imported my two games successfully. Over here under Windows, I now have Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Far Cry 5. So these were from my Uplay collection. Now let's go ahead and do Origin. With Origin, you will have to sign in. We'll go to Tools, Import, Origin, we'll go through the process, import them as Windows games, and it's going to prompt me to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Origin account. And once I'm logged in, it'll parse my Origin games. I don't have any of these installed right now, but I'm going to go ahead and check all, finish. It's going to download the metadata, box art, posters, and import those Origin games. So my four games were imported. And now, with LaunchBox 10.15, we have the ability to import Epic Games, GOG, Origin, Steam, Uplay, 
and Windows games. So we have a full launcher for pretty much all of our gaming needs right here. And before we get out of here, I did want to show off a couple new themes that I recently downloaded from the LaunchBox forum. I'll leave links for both of these that I'm about to show you in the description. The first one here is known as All Night Long by Theme Moeller. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. If not, I'm sorry about that. But either way, this theme is absolutely amazing. I personally really like it. Very simple looking, but it's got everything we need here and it feels really great. So we'll go over here to Genesis and go into a game. I love the way the box art slides off. You'll see that coming up. And overall, this is just a very clean theme and I'm really loving it. And next up, we have another big box theme called Wood Panels by B Movie Ben. This has actually been around since February 2020, but I recently downloaded it and been using it. And it's also been updated recently, so he is keeping track of this. I love the little shelving system we have here. Go into a game. Got our video playing here on the old tube TV. I just really like the look of this one. So if you're interested in checking out any of these themes, both links will be in the description. But that's pretty much it for this one. We really hope you enjoyed LaunchBox 10.15. The update is live and rolling out now. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.